Hey, uh, so uh, I think today I can talk about my Quicksilver. This is the new rose that I planted uh, this spring. I think I planted it in uh, March. So it's about one and a half months, two months right now, and it's a climber. Um, so as you can see, it has a very uh, stiff cane. It's not those uh, floppy cane at all. It's from Cordis, uh, from the Arborosa series. So uh, you can imagine it's going to be a vigorous one. And uh, I just like how stiff the cane are. So you don't really need a special um, like support for it as it grow up. And the goal is to cover this entire R and hopefully we'll be able to do it. And I think it's a perfect one for the R because it doesn't go autopsy or it doesn't go too vigorous that bring too much cane, if it makes sense to you. So uh, it's already start blooming for me uh, after I replant it. So uh, right now it does have uh, some trips damage to it, as you can see, but it's still uh, quite beautiful as I'm trying to show you. And it has some uh, purple tone to it, which I think is pretty um, gorgeous. Very upright bloom, and uh, I think this will be a good candidate for cut flower because you can see how long the cane can you can go down to cut it um this is the span the span boom still look good in terms of uh, disease resistant i mean we have too much rain here almost all the roses are having a black spot so nothing really surprised me so uh just i would say it's, it's it's average. It's not bad. It's average. Um, um, this is resistant. These are probably old leaf anyway. So, uh, that's, so there you go. This is uh, the quicksilver. I don't think I smell anything. No, there's no fragrance to it. Unfortunately, there's no fragrance to quicksilver. But very beautiful rose from Cordes. There you go.